today we're going to do something fun. Pop it, try it. Change, pop it. Why did I eat it again? Hi, I'm Sabrina from Germany and I'll be taking part in this challenge you're doing right now. Then let's start. Okay, so this is Toffee Fee and it's a very famous German snack and I really love it. It's so delicious. As the name Kronki, this one is really crunchy and it's really so nice. Swap it here. This one is really small and it looks cute. Mm! That's what I said. There's a layer, I guess. Like there's chocolate and hazelnut and on the top there is chocolate again. It's really nice. But it's not that sweet. It's the sweetness that I can actually like, enjoy. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try this. It's really sweet mm. and crunchy. And you can taste the peanut, but not the pretzel, I guess. This is like normal chocolate, I think, and it's just a little crunchy. So if I may say so, I go for toffee fee in the peanut. <laughs> I go for this also. <laughs> this one is so good. I'm sorry, crun crun crunchy. <laughs> So, should we move on? Let's move on. Every child in Germany will have eaten this, probably. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect child snack because it's small and goes into every um, bag you have. And I think this is like really similar to the Nutella and Go. But the only difference is that there are some topping, topping candies that you can actually like decorate or just eat or something. Oh, okay, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, can you see it? It's really similar. Do I need to dip it into chocolate and then into the topping? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, this is delicious though. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, well, I don't really need the topping to be honest, but it's a fun extra. Mm. And it's pretty. I li don't like the taste of Nutella that much, mm. so this goes mm. for me actually. That's so oily. Mm. Looks kind of gross. No, But the, taste, the yeah. taste will be good. <laughs> um, I think Germans enjoy Nutella on the bread and on pancakes as well. Mm -hmm. And they bake with it as well. They have like different cakes with Nutella in it. Uh, they are pretty delicious actually. Mm. Because in Korea, because of its high calories, Nutella is often called as like devil's gem. Mm. Yeah. Mine is the diet version. <laughs> <laughs> so the last part is Haribo. Actually, I bought this one in Germany and this one is from Korea. But personally, I thought that German one is like much better and it's more mm -hmm. delicious. So today we're going to do something special. We're going to cover our eyes and then oh. we're going to find out which one is from German and which one is from Korea. So this one that we have a tape on it will be the German one. Let's try the same one. Uh, did you pick it? Okay, how about this one? This one? Okay, okay. okay. let's go for it. Mm, I think this is Korean one. Oh, yeah. Korean, no. This is Korean because... It's just Haribo. <laughs> there is no difference. No, no, isn't it? It's quite thick and oh. it's not that sour. Okay, let's try the other one. <laughs> <laughs> this one is thicker. There's actually no difference. No, no. This is German one. This taste has like full taste. And this is softer. Okay. This is this softer. Is softer. Mm. I agree on that. Really? So we are finding the German one, right? Yeah, okay. I'm going for um, your choice because I can find a difference. <laughs> yeah, second one. I think second one is the German one. So which one was the second one? This one was the second one. Mm. Is it German? Mm. This was the Korean one right now. Mm. Okay, okay, I'm going. This is thicker. This is the same. <laughs> Yay! And thank you for coming, no Sunday. Worries. Yeah, my pleasure. Let me introduce my friend, Harris. Hi, my name is Harris. I'm a KU student. I'm from Malaysia. Oh. Enna? Enna? He really looks like ramen. So can you explain for me? Yeah, um, this is um, it's called Enna snack. Mm -hmm. um, I think Enna is in the Indonesian for tasty. Oh really? Tasty. This one is called Pusok Pusok and Pusok Pusok is the Korean word for like cracking down and breaking down into pieces. We need to crush it and add the seasoning, shake it. Mm. So this is bulgogi flavor but actually like my favorite one is yangnyeom chicken which is the chicken flavor. 
Should we break it first? Yeah, you need to break it. Okay. Nice also. Is it? Yeah, it's really nice. Chicken barbecue flavor. I can taste the barbecue one, but actually I cannot taste the chicken flavor. But still, it's very nice. It's not that salty. I can't say I can taste the, the bulgogi here, but... <laughs> so have you ever tried bulgogi in Korea? Definitely, of course. Mm. Oh, okay, never mind. I think I tasted it a little bit. Mm. But also not that strong. It's a good substitute, I think, for, for if I can't find this. Mm. I think it's a, it's a good substitute. So the second one is... Dejawa and... How can we eat? It's a uh, tebotol. Tebotol. You can see in the bottles from the, from the cover. Mm. And they always come in the bottles. Um, and what tebotol means, it's, um, it just means bottle in a tea. Oh, really? <laughs> Tea in a bottle, tea in a bottle. <laughs> and it's just an iced tea, and that's about it. Mmm, iced tea. And Dejawa is like the black tea. And I personally think that it's really famous among university students because it really tastes like black tea, but it's really cheap because we can find in convenience store. And also, I think people usually drink this there during their midterms because it has a very high level of caffeine, like. Yeah, Very similar to the hot six. How can I pour it? Should I just pour it like this? I personally thought that it would be like stronger, but it's quite lighter than mm. what I thought. It was not bad, but I think this is this would be my first and the last time trying it. How was it? Same for me. I don't really go for a bottle milk teas. I go for the actual made milk teas in the mm. shops. Yeah. Always the real things always better. We wanted to try this. Yeah. Mm. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I prefer this one. <laughs> I prefer this one. Close then, to home. <laughs> I'll go for this. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to it. This is called kuropo udang. Okay, so uh, kuropo means cracker. I think mm. it should be cracker. And udang means shrimp. So it's just shrimp crackers. For these ones are pellets. And then we have to do is go back and um, fry them. And when you fry them, then it will puff up and become a little, like a crunchy snack. And you can't eat this without cooking. <laughs> we have the cooked version. And then for these ones, Malaysians also eat this a lot as well. And eat it either just as a snack. Sometimes they dip it in like chili sauce. For different versions, they dip it in chili sauce. I think this looks really similar to Aeseo chip because it is also shrimp flavored mm -hmm. and it looks like this one. And I think it'll be quite bigger. It's that really just is similar, yeah. Same, yeah. A lot smaller than Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Uh, it's pretty similar. Very similar. <laughs> <laughs> very similar. But yeah. it's quite mild also. It's yeah. not the salty. So if you have something mild, then it's the, when you have something else, that's what eat it you taste. Eat with rice? Yeah, eat it with rice, yeah. Like putting the rice on top of it? or no, Not like, not like, <laughs> not like, not like that, but like you add it on top of rice. So have something crunchy like with like your rice and like your curry and your meat. So you want to go for this one? Oh, definitely, yeah. Mm. So these are the snacks that we prepared for today. And for the next content, we're going to come back with more exciting and interesting one. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like our video, please subscribe and push Your like. Thumbs up. Yeah, push like. Thumbs please. up. And thank you for watching. <laughs>
our most watched video on our channel with over 770,000 views. Let's try to get this video on that same level. So if you guys wanna help us top that and make our Korean snack video the most popular, make sure you leave comments down below, give this video a thumbs up, and share this with all of your friends and family. Especially a lot of our military subscribers right now, if you know anybody that's been stationed in Korea or you know anybody that is Korean, especially those of you that are in Korea right now, Share this with all of your Korean friends. It would be super awesome and we'd really appreciate it. But I'm excited to get started because these snacks look really good. First, we're gonna start with the shrimp chips. We've actually had snacks Ooh. like this before in Japan. I don't like so, shrimp chips. So, let's see if they taste similar they to the like ones that we've had. They were like french fries is what we have. Before. Yeah, these are shaped a little bit different. They look like little potato chips, kinda. Oh yes, smells like fish food. <laughs> McKenna's actually eaten fish food before. Carl will probably like these better than us. Yeah, I was actually gonna see if our cat wanted to try them, but let's try them first. Ready? Cheers. Oh, those aren't that bad. They're not as shrimpy tasting as the ones we've had wow. in Japan. That was, it's like a pork rind is what it tastes like. It tastes a lot, it has the same texture as a pork rind. Yeah, it tastes more like a plain salted potato chip, but it is just puffier. So yeah. these aren't bad at all. It's pretty good. Let's see if our cat will try it. Carl, Carl. Hey, come here. <laughs> He's like, I don't know if I'm allowed to eat this or not. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> he just wants pets, so he isn't gonna eat the shrimp chips. <laughs> Man, overall, I'm gonna say these are really, really good. Korea, you do it right when it comes to shrimp chips, man. That is, I'm sorry, but Korean shrimp chips, Japanese shrimp chips, <laughs> You guys should give this video a thumbs up for Carl participating in the video. <laughs> Next up we have something that has no English on it other than the letter Q and some Kikomen soy sauce. Okay. There's a whole lot of Korean on this that I cannot read. Okay. Kind of smells like a soup, like a Korean soup. Like a but like with soy curry like, spice kind of. or almost, I kind of think it It looks like popcorn, it but smells it smells good. like teriyaki. Yeah, like teriyaki and, and soy sauce mixed. Ready, set, go. Oh, it tastes sweet too. Wow. But it's like a savory flavor. Oh my gosh. What is that? Somebody help us. Bro. Comment down below, let us know what we're eating. This is incredible. It's like, it tastes like dessert, but not. It tastes like a, like a food, but a dessert at the same time. This is incredible. Wow. I definitely don't think it tastes like dessert, but I know where you're coming it's quite, from. It's like sweet. It's almost like a honey flavor. That's good. Like it's caramelized honey. Yeah. Wow. Holy crap. These are incredible. Don't um, eat them all. We just want more snacks to eat. You use. Is that what they're called? You use. I think they might be you use. Maybe. Well, this has the U on it too. Oh. It's, that's, that's the brand. Dang it. You use. Shout out to you guys. You did it right. Anybody that's watching from Korea, if you guys like these, you are my friend. <laughs> <laughs> these are incredible, man. These are so. Watch everybody be like, those are our least favorite here. And they'll be like, oh, that's why we like them. Mm. Wow. Holy crap. Korea, just from the first two snacks that we have tried, I'm already like, I wanna go to Korea. Yeah, I we definitely go. will though. Wow. Sometime. That, you guys do snacks, right? Next we have, we have no clue what it is. It looks like it might be, <laughs> oh, I see the word larva. That does not make me happy because it has pictures of worms on the box. They and look like goldfish, but in the shape of larva. I think it might be like a graham cracker, like a sweet, oh no, it has a picture of a cheese. It is, it's goldfish in the shape of larva, which is really weird cheese, for Americans like because a, we're not, we don't eat bugs a at cheese all. Cracker, like, bugs like a do not it. become any part of our, our cuisine. Oh gosh, this kind of scares me. It still smells like a vanilla cookie with like Whoa, a cheese on top. That does not it. smell like cheese at all. No. What the ah, heck? It's like, it looks like a little graham cracker. Are you gonna eat the whole thing? Uh-huh. Mmm, yum! Uh -oh. Mm -mm. oh wait, oh wait! 
No, at first it was like oh, good. No. At first it was good, and then the halfway through it's like, oh, now I'm getting an actual flavor, and you're like, what is this? Tasted like a vanilla cookie. Yeah, it tastes good on the outside. But then it has oh. like an aftertaste of weird cheese. Nope, you can go back where you can. Oh man, that was uh, not what I. I don't. That's that one just threw me off altogether. <laughs> That was gross. We have Dr. You Kids. These look exactly like the last things that we just had. It shows an otter though, with a block of cheese. But it's is like a little cracker. Oh, so these oh, are individual. Interesting. Is it, they look cute. They're way bigger than I thought they would be. This one actually smells like yeah, cheese. It smells, oh, oh the, the sticks that you dip in the but cheese. But it smells like the cheese. From yes. It. it doesn't smell like a stick, it smells like yes. the cheese. All combined in one. It's like the cheese and the stick exactly. in one item. Well, so I will say it's definitely not terrible. It's not bad. It tastes like a less flavorful version of the Cheese crackers. Yeah, the cheese sticks. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'll give you like a thumbs sideways on this one. Original is the only English word I can read on here. <laughs> but these look like strawberry wafers. So I'm sure they're going to be great. We have things like this here in America. Hey, this look, when you open it, it literally says strawberry wafers. Yes. Cool. We grew up on these as kids. My dad used to go and buy them all the time when we were little kids. He would go and buy like big packets of the three, the yes. vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry yes. ones. And that was be like on Sunday after church, go and buy a packet and we'd eat them on the way home. That's awesome. Let's see if they taste like the ones that we're used to. They're probably better because the ones that we're used to weren't that good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. That smells so good. Mmm. Mm. And like the wafer is so light and crispy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to give these like a 7 out of 10. Mmm. Not bad. We have a fresh melon cake bakey from Crown. This is melon flavor. I'm excited so for this, this one. Will be, ooh, it does not smell like. Oh, yeah. so it's like a cake with a melon cream. Mmm, the bread is good. Like a honeydew? Honeydew. That's yeah. what it is. It's honeydew. It's not the melon that we're thinking of. Mm -mm. Like the uh, Japanese melon soda. Which I'm pretty sure is in Korea too. These are, these are good. We're used to that melon soda, but yeah, this is. And like another thing, the that. bread isn't stale. Mm -hmm. Like it's light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. And then like the cream on the inside is also like super light. It's kind of like a weird for a dessert because it's like fresh, like fresh fruit. Mm. So it like tricks you into being like, this isn't dessert, this is healthy for you. Goldfish. Yes. <laughs> That's what I thought they were. It doesn't say it on here. They, I, you know, I don't know what the flavor is going to be because there's a chicken. There's some chicken wings, so I guess it's like chicken flavored goldfish. Crackers. I would assume so. If they put a chicken a chicken leg on there, it's gonna be chicken flavored. I don't know why she doesn't know what flavor it's gonna be. Yeah, like a teriyaki chicken. That's what it looks like. Oh, they're up cute little shapes. I got a star. I got uh, a squid. That's so weird. Go. Ah, uh. It's like there's no inside to it. It's it says all it is is the outside is crispy. Look, not fried. It's a baked snack. Look, the box. inside has absolutely nothing in it. It's hollow. I don't know if I like them though. I think it's okay. I don't have a problem. <laughs> I like to do a more at once because you get way more flavor and more crunch. Wow. Okay. These are Ms. Black. Again, we apologize for not being able to read Korean. <laughs> We're not that uh, that smart when it comes to other foreign languages, so uh, we're only reading the English stuff because that's all we know. We can't read it, but I think that does make it more interesting because we literally do not know what we're having at all. That's where you guys come in. Comment down below. Let us know what each of these things are because we have no clue. Like we said at the beginning of the video, comments helps us. It lets YouTube know that this video is interesting. You guys wanted to interact. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought of the video. What you thought of all these snacks. It helps us and it helps us communicate with you guys because if you don't comment, we can't comment back. I think these are gonna be good though. I think they're gonna be little chocolate cookie squares. It looks like they almost have like vanilla in them too. Yeah. They have like little itty bitty squirrels in them. It says 10% something and it points to the white spots. So they're 10% vanilla. Oh, the white spots. Be good, be good, be good, come on. Oh, these look good. Oh, thank you. There you go, you can have a bunch. Ooh, Teddy Grahams. Maybe it's coconut. Yum! Or like macadamia or something. It's good. I feel like it's some sort of nut. Maybe it's just like white chocolate. I don't know. These are good. If you guys are Korean or you can read Korean or speak Korean, what does this thing mean right here? 10% what? What is that? 
So that way we know what we just ate. Because I ate 10% of something, but I don't know what it is. I think boobs taste better when they're miniature too. <laughs> I like think it's better when there's a bite in my mouth at the same time. Ah! That's why I don't eat multiple things at once. She's just clumsy. <laughs> good. Yeah, that was really good. That was good. That was like a 9 out of 10 for a snack. Oh, these look good. I'm assuming these are going to be little chocolates with a cracker stick. There is not one word of English on the front, so. Chocolate with mini biscuit. Oh, hey! you were right. We're getting good at this foreign snack thing. I'm going to get the trifecta one. One has three all together. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Not bad. Nice little chocolate snack. Not overwhelming because you got the biscuit in there, but. It's like a Dunkaroo, almost. Like with the crackers and then the chocolate, but it comes all in one. Pre-dipped. Yeah, it's literally dipped and it's like the perfect amount for the cracker to chocolate ratio. Korea is so smart. They're so, they got snacks figured out, man. I'm excited to travel there. Korea has it figured out. What are some of the best places to travel to in Korea because we love traveling. Be sure to comment down below what are the best places to travel to in Korea. We would love to know you guys' feedback. These things are since 1976, but we don't know what these things are. <laughs> they look like nuts with some sort of nut shell on them. I feel like, like it's going to be a crispy ball with like a hazelnut center. Like a malt ball or something? Uh uh, that smells disgusting. It doesn't smell good, but it smells like a peanut. Peanuts don't smell bad. Like little egg. Okay, the outside smells like peanut butter. Whatever's on the inside. The inside's like this one's kind of hollow. I think the oh. nut fell out of it. That looks gross. All right, ready? Cheers. Ooh. Go. Oh, it's like a peanut. Oh. It's a peanut inside of peanut flavored casing. That's not good. I like it because it's like mm -hmm. a peanut. Like all the different textures. Mm -hmm. It just works. No, that's good. That does not work at all. Oh my gosh, that's what it is. There's some sort of squid on it. Oh no. There's like a squid flavor on it. I wonder if it's peanut covered in squid chips. On the back it shows a squid that goes into it, so. Please let us know what that is. Mm. What did we just eat? Something disgusting, like I said. Our last snack are these chip things. Big snack. It looks like it's gonna be amazing. Looks like it's gonna spicy. be really hot. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Does it smell spicy? No, it kind of smells like fish food again. So it's another like puffy texture. Ready, set, go. Oh, they're in the shape of crabs. It's the shape of a crab. Like it tastes a, like a fishy chip. A crab soup or like a fish soup. Yeah, I think that's what this is. But that is really hot. But it is spicy. Is it's, it a spice kick at the end? Yes, I man. love spicy food. Do you guys like mm, spicy food That aftertaste is no bueno. Fine, more for me. Oh, yeah, I just got that aftertaste. <clears> Dang it. That was super fishy. Mm. Nope. Ooh, give me some more of these. You, you. Give me the hookup. <laughs> we had so much fun trying all of these snacks. I would say, overall, we liked most of them. None of them were terrible. We definitely had worse experiences with food and other taste testing videos that we've done. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And like we said, share it with as many people as you know. Thanks again, Gina, for sending these to us. And remember to check out her links in the description below. You guys are awesome for sticking around to this point of video. We do appreciate it, and we hope to see you guys in our next video. Peace, Peace out. Go, go, go. go. You want to come try this one crazy nut thing? It's like no, sweet no, but savory. Wait, What's this It's one? good. You guys all like yeah, it. Yeah, that was good. You guys all like it? Bro. Wait, can I like have it. another one? Mm-hmm. Are you serious? That's <laughs> good. It's like sweet. No! That's disgusting. Uh -oh. I'm outnumbered. This is not fair. Try this and tell me it's not amazing. Okay, it's like palette. sweet, but like not. They're really good. Yeah. Oh, so that's squid. This? Isn't it? No. It's good. It tastes like squid. Oh my what God. does it? It tastes like dry squid. What? Have you never had dry squid? Yeah, it's gross. It tastes like dry squid. No. I like dry squid though. No. So it's good. Masudo's Japanese. That's why he likes it. <laughs> uh, I'm actually Italian. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, and he was stationed in Korea for a year. And then Brendan's Australian. I don't know what you guys eat. What do you guys eat? Vegemite. Vegemite. <laughs> oh, we, 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 have, um, we have Milo though. Yeah, so Milo too. There we you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and no milk, guys. No milk. Just that was good. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the little sneak preview. These are roommates. We'll see you next time. Hi, guys. So on today's episode of Taste Testers, we'll be trying out fun Korean snacks. But in order for us to ensure that these are legit snacks eaten by actual Korean people, we have... 
We're gonna be going to Korea Mart, which is like the most comprehensive Korean mart that you can find in Singapore. And yeah, we're just gonna find our Korean snacks. Set. So, Kata! First thing that I see, this is a very famous peanut snack that has been around since my mom's time. Wow. So my mom grew up with this. I grew up with this. <laughs> this is a traditional Korean market snack uh, made of rice. This reminds me of the one we used to have um, as we were kids, like the pink, green. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It looks something like this. Yeah, but this is uh, slightly sweeter than that. So this is the super basic one. Like everyone knows about yes. this. This is completely overrated. Yes. Oh. What you can get is chaltok uh, pie, which is like mochi, mochi pie. This is also another classic. It's been around for I don't even know how many years. It's probably like older than my mom. Very versatile snack that a lot of us eat. It's like small grainy stuff. Do you think Singaporeans will like it? Yes, definitely. You guys will love it as cereal. Look at this. This is since 1973. Um, it's like hollow inside. Very, very crunchy on the outside. Uh, tastes like honey. Then there's like some black sesame seeds on top. Hi guys! Hi! Hi! Hi. The yogurt almonds or like the wasabi almonds. Oh my god, yogurt almonds are so good. I love the one that looks like cone. You know, that looks oh, like the a ice cream one, cone, right? But it's cone. So today on Taste Testers, we're going to be trying out unique Korean snacks. Okay. Ooh, Ooh that sound! <laughs> it sounds like rain. Does it not sound like rain? Mmm! It really tastes like popcorn because there's also that. I hope this is healthy. Is it? It feels healthy. It's actually crispy, right? But I thought it would be more of a crunch. But when you actually eat it, it just like collapses. Yeah, I should eat this like in a bowl, like with a spoon. But I, feel, um, I feel like the milk would just it would dissolve. Dissolve it, yeah. <laughs> like you pour the milk here, and then it all. So this snack is actually called Jolly Pom. <laughs> And it's like rice pops, so it's mm. correct. It's rice. So it's rice? Yeah. Is it rice or is it barley? It's rice. Oh my god, it's as big as my face! <laughs> it's tasteless! This is like eating air. Except worse because this is calories. Oh! It, it tastes like slightly sweetened nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what this is is actually made of wheat and rice. It's been around for a very long time, mm -hmm. so it's been sold in traditional markets in Korea. Oh! 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 It's mochi! It's yeah. mochi! Mmm! Oh, it's chocolate. It's clear mochi, I think. Then it's sandwiched with like a layer of. More chocolate. chocolate, yeah. I wish the mochi was softer. I think because this is like a packaged mochi, right? Just it, it can only be that soft, you know. I don't know. It doesn't really work for me, lah. It's very dense. So yeah, this is like choco pie, but the mm -hmm. mochi version. So oh okay. We bought this because Jin said choco pie is like so oh, last year, yeah, mm. and overrated. Oh, so she said this one's better because it's like different. It's not so sweet. Oh yeah! Actually, I was going to say those are shiny pretzels, like a hot pretzel. You're really a white girl. Yeah, you're like, you can't even like, I pretzel. It looks like a pretzel. Yeah, it's denser. Yeah, all the Korean snacks, like, when you bite into it, right, it's crunchy, but you're biting into nothing. You don't want to fill in the inside because that creates more calories. Mm. You tell why Korean girls right. are like, woo! Yeah. As it is good. Like, if it was there at a party or something, I would eat it. But I don't think this is something I would actively go buy myself. It's not too sweet, no? Oh, mm. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a bit of peanut, so they, they put a bit of effort into this. Mm. It's like this cracker which is rolled in peanuts. Oh, okay. And it's also a very old snack, like, it's oh. been around for a while already. Oh, yeah! Mm. Oh my god, it smells spicy. The thing that makes this special is the seasoning. 
Yeah. So if I combine the seasoning with like our mommy snack noodles, I think I would be more into it. The seasoning is quite shook eh. Yeah, the seasoning is so good. My goodness. It's like a bit tangy mm. and spicy. So what do you think this is, the seasoning? Spicy seafood huh, I guess. This is similar to like the mummy snack but this one comes in barbecue and chilli flavour. Oh that's so, cool! Yeah, so it's like a wider range compared to mummy. Okay, that sounds cooler. Mmm yes, it smells like apple pie. Oh. It's so entertaining to have you so much, y'all. Yeah. The flavour is so good. We've all got that puff texture, but the outside is a bit crispier because of all the ridges and the sugar coat. Uh, this snack is called Janggu. Okay. And it's like a cracker that is rolled in acacia honey. Ah! Oh! <laughs> yakut! Fizzy yakut. Like a milky ice cream soda. It's like an ice cream soda, but mm. it's not as sweet. It's like the FNN one. Okay, so this is actually uh, a Korean soda called Milkis and it's made from yogurt. Which of these snacks would you recommend or eat again? This one, yeah. That, that, the that one apple, that we... cinnamon ish, uh, no, acacia honey snack. Changgu! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so, oh so good! I think the mummy, if you can get like a few flavors, like the spicy, the barbecue, or like some cool Korean flavors, I think that would be nice to give some.